Hi there smart monks and welcome to my channel. If you've been here before, welcome back. This is my little platform where I turn struggling math students into math masters. And I post videos weekly, so subscribe and turn on the notification button if you want to know when I post any new videos. So in this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to simplify algebraic expressions where the questions include a binomial multiplied by a trinomial. Okay, in the description, if you want any more practice, you will find worksheets with the answers in the description below. And then also you will get a link to my videos on my other platform as only a small percentage of my actual videos are on YouTube. So if you want to see more of those, you can go over to that platform. So without further ado, let's jump into this video. So this is our lesson on binomials multiplied by trinomials and this is under algebra specifically looking at simplification. So we are answering questions that say simplify. A binomial is two terms, a trinomial is three terms, so this lesson is multiplying two terms by three terms. Okay, so let's start with some examples. Right, so ideally the method that we want to use for this um, grade tens is we want to, when we are multiplying, we always multiply the sign first, then the number, and then the letter. And then with the answers, once we've done that with every term, we then add and subtract like terms. So these are the uh, concepts and these are the um, algebra rules that you learn from grade 8 and grade 9 that would now be applied to grade 10. Okay, so let's look at uh, the first example. So we know this is a binomial times trinomial, and in an exam, this question will say simplify. So what you will do is you will start off with the first term in the, in the binomial bracket, right? So the x, and you will multiply this x by every single term using the sign number letter method. Then you will take the second term and multiply it by each again, and that would then, and then still applying the sign number letter, and then the answers you will then add and subtract like them. So let me show you what I mean. So I'm going to take x, <clears throat> multiply it by the first term, and that gives me x to the power of 3. Then 7x times x gives me 7x squared. And then x multiplied by the 6 is 6x. So I've taken the first term and multiplied it by every single term in the trinomial bracket. Right? Then... I'm going to now take the second term and do the same. So I'm going to say 1 times x squared gives me x squared, 1 times 7 gives me 7x, and then 1 times 6 gives me 6. Okay, so also remember that if the answer is positive, you'll add a plus in between, and if the answer is negative, it would be a negative. Now we actually have a <coughs> addition sum where we now apply our like terms, right? So here x3, there's only one x3, there is two x to the power of twos, so I add them, so this is seven plus one gives me eight, and then I have six x plus seven x, which gives me the 13 x, and then the six is the only constant. So this expression simplified will give me x to the power of three plus eight x squared plus 13 x plus six. Okay, let's do another example. 3x minus y times 2x squared plus 4xy plus y squared. Again, we will take the first term, which is the 3x, and multiply it by each. Again, each time, each arrow represents the method sign number letter. So if I say 3x times x squared, I go, what is the sign? Positive times positive gives me positive. The numbers, 3 times 2 gives me 6. The variables, x times x squared gives me x to the power of 3. Do the same for the second one. So this now will give me positive times positive is positive. 3 times 4 is 12. x times x is x squared. And then I have a y there. Right? <clears throat> then 3x times y squared is again sign number letter will give me 3xy squared. Now I go to the second term. Minus y times 2x squared will give me minus 2x squared y. Then negative times, so remember now each arrow we do sign number letter. So sign is negative times positive is negative. Number is the other 1 times 4 is 4. 
and then the variables we have got only one x and I've got two y's so it will be minus 4xy squared. Then the last one minus y times positive y squared will give me positive times negative times positive is negative and there's no numbers to multiply and I've got three y's and that gives me that and now I look at what are the like terms. I've got x to the power of 3, there isn't any other. I've got y to the power of 3, there isn't any other. But these will be simplified and these will be simplified because they have the same variables. Remembering that I can only add the variables, the letters, and the powers have to be the same okay, in order for them to be like terms. So these two aren't like terms because the x is squared here, but the y is squared here. So these two are like terms. So I'll go 6, like I said, there's nothing else. Then the 12 minus the 2 gives me the 10, and the 3 minus the 4 gives me the minus xy squared. And then I end up with a negative y3. Okay, so we again applying our adding and subtracting rules, which is we only can add and subtract like terms in the last step. Right, but what if we now have a question that looks like this? So this is essentially a binomial times a trinomial disguised, and I'll show you what I mean. So if I have x plus 1 to the power of 3, now anything with a power means that I'm taking that thing and I'm multiplying it by itself so many times that the power indicates. So in this case, I'm going to say x plus 1 is to the power of 3, which means I'm going to multiply it by itself three times, because that's what the power means. Then what I do is I'm now going to go <clears throat> simplify this by saying binomial times a binomial which, if you remember, is very similar. We take the first term and the second term. This you learned in grade 9, and then the first term here and second term. So essentially, if I had to simplify this, it would give me x squared, because x times x is x squared, and then x times 1 is 1x, and then the same year, 1x times 1. And then in this bracket, I now simplify. So I end up having x plus x is 2x and nothing else can further simplify. And do you see now how this has evolved into a binomial times a trinomial question? Okay, so how do we deal with this now? We'll go, okay, first term again, multiply, second term, sign number letter, sign number letter. Okay, then again at the bottom, do the same, x squared plus 2x plus 1. And that then... If I look at my like terms here, I've got x to the power of 3, which cannot be further simplified. These two are like terms, so I add them together, which gives me 3. These are like terms, I add them together, which gives me 3. And then I have the plus 1. Okay, so grade 10s, that is how you approach binomial multiplied by the trinomial. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to give you this exercise. So I want you to pause the video here and I want you to attempt these four questions and then unpause and I will work, give you the answers and you can see if you're on the right track with this work. Okay, remember maths is all about practice. So I always include practice um, opportunity at the end of the lesson of my videos. Okay, so pause the video and then try these questions and then I'll unpause when you are done. Okay, so now let's look at your answers. Okay, so again, so you know the process now. You take the first term, sign number letter by every term in the bracket. And then the second term in the first bracket, you also multiply sign number letter by every single term in the third, <coughs> in the second bracket. Right, so for the first one, this should have been your, um, when you simplified, and then this would be your final answer once you group like terms. 2x to the 3 plus 13x squared plus 16x plus 6. I suggest looking here if you didn't get this right to see where you went wrong. Okay, same with b. We multiply this out, we get this. And then our final answer would be 6x squared plus 10x squared y plus 7xy plus 5xy squared plus 2y squared. So the secret here is to note that very few of these were actually like terms it was only these two okay then by c same story here there was nothing that you could add and subtract because there were no like terms here okay so yes we had x's and we had y's but the variables and the powers uh, were all different okay then the last question you had to multi um open the extend the brackets three times and then 
multiply the, bi the binomial times a binomial over here, which is what I've done here. And then sign number letter um, for each of them as per our method that I just taught you. And then your final answer would be 64x to the power of 3 plus 192x squared plus 192x plus 64. Okay, so hopefully you got these questions right. If you didn't, I suggest you go back, start it over again and try and redo the questions where you went wrong or try and identify where you made your mistake. So these exercises, we don't want to get discouraged when we get something wrong. We want to make sure that we see, okay, this is where I'm making my mistakes so that you don't make it and repeat it in the exam. Okay, so that concludes our lesson on binomials multiplied by trinomials. All right, so there's that video. Hopefully you found it helpful. If you did, I'd appreciate the thumbs up. If you have any questions, add it in the comment section below. Or if you have any recommendations for future videos, I'd appreciate it for you to let me know how best I can serve you. So remember, check in the description if you want to know when you can get worksheets or where you can get access to more of my videos. If those are not available in the description just yet, please bear with me. I am still in the process of um, updating and fixing that platform. I will inform you on my YouTube community page and when that will be ready. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.